Okay, so here are my super secret saving money traveling, saving money traveling, money travels. <laughs> here are my super secret saving money traveling hacks that have saved me thousands of dollars and you should definitely not tell anybody about this or else we could all lose these privileges. So you're welcome in advance and let's get this show on the road. Number one. Don't travel with too much baggage. If you don't have to travel with a suitcase, I really recommend that you do not, especially if you're traveling with budget airlines because they usually do not have check-in baggage included. So, if you are taking a suitcase, make sure that it is included in your ticket. Otherwise, these airlines will throw on hefty fees per kilogram, so I definitely recommend stay away from baggage if you can it will save you hundreds of dollars. Number two, use flight scanning sites. I'm always amazed by people that don't really understand this concept still and are still booking directly from the airline. Whatever you do, do not book with the airline first. There are tons of flight scanning sites out there such as Skyscanner, STA is one of my favorite if you're under 31. Um, there's Google Flights. So check out one of those sites before you directly look at the airline first. Just doing that one simple step will save you so much money. Number three, and this is for my American travelers, get a Charles Schwab bank account. This is like one of the most hidden tips that I have and most like vacationers, casual travelers don't know about this tip, but especially if you're traveling internationally, ATM fees can get very, very hefty. Charles Schwab will actually reimburse you for ATM fees internationally and domestically, which is incredible. So I went to Thailand and Charles Schwab ended up refunding me $150 because the fees in Thailand were so high. And by the end of this year, I will probably save at least $1,000 just with having a Charles Schwab debit card account. Number five is ask locals where to eat. They're usually so friendly and happy that you even approach them to ask. So take their advice. They usually know where the most authentic, cheap food is. Please do not spend five euros on a cappuccino in Europe. I've, I've never done that, disclaimer, but I have seen so many of my friends make these mistakes. Ask them first before you look at TripAdvisor. Number five, Airbnb. I use Airbnb all the time, especially since I'm a full-time traveler. I'll go ahead and leave my link down below in the description. So if you wanna save some cash on your first Airbnb, you can do that. But if you're booking with an Airbnb, make sure to check out the weekly and monthly discounts. The longer you can travel, the better the discount. So if you have the option to travel by the week or even by the month, you can save up to 50, 60% off on your Airbnb. Oh, 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 it's magic, you know. Number six, I've admittedly never done this because I'm too lazy, but if you have the motivation to do it, especially while you're on vacation, collect all your receipts and declare taxes at the airport. This is offered in a lot of countries, especially if you're planning on doing some big shopping sprees. That's a way that you can save a lot of money because taxes can be very high depending on the country that you're in. Okay, number seven, and this is just an absolutely do not do this or else you deserve to pay the punishment or the crime or whatever. And that is never exchange your money at the airport. The, the airport is known to rip off everybody. So yeah, um, just don't do that. Find out where the best currency exchange place is in your city. Tip number eight, and this is for all my millennials here, all of the people that are under 31. If you're not a university student, you can still get student discounts, and that's through this magical website, STA. I'll have the link down below in the description. And you can get student type discounts just for being young, like, I just got my ticket back to the US for $420 because I got a student discount but even though I'm not a student, but because I'm under the age of 31, I was eligible for it. So that website is great, especially with international long flights I've noticed. So that's definitely a great option that you guys should check out. And you can even get an ISIC card, an international student ID, and that could qualify you to receive a lot of discounts in places like museums. So 
definitely check out STA. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel. I post new content every single week, more like twice a week. So it would really mean a lot to me because I'm trying to make this little channel grow this year. Share this with some of your friends that are new to traveling and haven't yet figured things out. What are your best travel tips? Leave them down in the comments below. See y'all next week. Bye! Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm here in Berlin, so I really do travel, just so y'all know. Okay, bye! <laughs>